Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are gonna be promoting our server 2019 virtual machine to a domain controller. Let's jump into that right now. In our previous video in this series, we configured the name and the IP address for our server. So let's get started with setting up our server as a domain controller. So with our server booted up, the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and click on the start menu and go to server manager. Oftentimes you'll find that this loads up on its own as well. Now we're gonna wait a minute while this continues to load. The first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and click on add roles and features. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on next. And we're gonna click on next again for role based features. And we're gonna go ahead and click next one more time. And we're gonna select here active directory domain services. We're gonna go ahead and add that, click next, and uh, click next again. It's really a, a very straightforward process. We're just kidding next a bunch of times because the default settings for all of this are completely fine and acceptable. We're not gonna make any changes outside of the ordinary default settings. So we're just gonna go ahead and click next again, and we're gonna go ahead and wait for the installation process to finish. Once the installation process is complete, we can go ahead and close out this window. The next thing that we're gonna do is back in our server manager is click on that exclamation point, that yellow exclamation point, and we're gonna click on promote the server to a domain controller. Once this loads, we're gonna go ahead and click on add a new forest, and we're gonna type the name of our domain in here. This can be anything that you would like. We're gonna name ours azeroth.local. You can call this your business.local or whatever you would would like it to be. We're going to go ahead and click on next and then it's going to get to a point where it's going to load our next screen here. We're going to have to put in our domain password. So make sure you set a strong domain password and then we're going to go ahead and click on next again. In the next screen we're just going to wait for the information to propagate here and it's just going to be another next as well. Now the next thing they're waiting for is all the information again to propagate. You're going to see some warnings. They are okay. Just go ahead and click on next again and we're going to wait for this to finish. So now this process is completed. We're going to go ahead and restart the machine as it's prompting us. So we're going to go ahead and click on close and it's going to reboot itself and that's it the machines rebooting we are going to get to our login screen and what is going to happen is we will log in with our domain credentials so we set the domain password in our previous steps here that's what we're going to go ahead and log in with now in our next videos we're going to be talking about configuring active directory what that looks like we'll talk about adding more computers to our domain so that this all makes sense i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you have any comments questions concerns throw them in the comments below as always take it easy